Hey creatives, it's Kat and today we are painting on face masks. I saw Jazza do this and it looked really fun, so let's try it. Okay, first, some unpacking ASMR. So I actually ordered these because of the current global situation. COVID. <laughs> but the quality is terrible. So I thought, why not paint on them instead? Apparently I don't own a pencil, so I'm using a pink eyeliner. Then I had this brilliant idea. Whoops. I would paint the mask whilst it's being worn by, let's call him Frank, so I could see what it's going to look like. This was a terrible idea. I quickly realized that drawing on a 3D surface makes things unnecessarily difficult. So we're going back to 2D. So if you couldn't tell by my sketch, this is going to be ice cream themed. Now you see this color here, this delicious bubblegum pink that is potentially the yummiest color in the entire world. Yeah, unfortunately leather paint doesn't dry this color. And I hate everything. But in the meantime, back to the waffle cone. This color's way too dark, so let's just lighten that up and proceed to cover myself in paint too. Being a YouTuber is a messy job, but someone's got to do it. Now to add some shadows to really bring our waffle cone to life and ta -da! The colors are dry and now look completely different. Okay, so they're not the colors I wanted, but they're not completely terrible, so let's continue. I'm just adding some highlights to the ice cream and then attempting to mix some pastel puffy paint for the sprinkles, but scrapped that idea and just went with the ready-made colors so my sprinkles could have that puffy dimension. Once that is done, I just repeated the exact same process on the other side and this is what I ended up with. I really love how this one turned out despite the color change and because I loved it so much, I turned it into a real mask. If you guys would like one, I'll have a link in the description. The next mask is a slightly different style and hey, I found a pencil. I'm starting off by drawing three circles and then a smaller circle inside the bigger circle. Yes, I'm painting donuts. If you hadn't noticed, I have a slight donut obsession. So it's only fitting I have a donut mask too. And my paint palette magically filled up with different colors. I'm actually showing you guys the masks in order of my favorite to least favorite. Let me know which mask ends up being your favorite because I know not everyone loves donuts and ice cream. Weirdos. So I've ended up with a pink, brown, and yellow donut, strawberry, chocolate, and pineapple flavored. What's usually yellow flavored icing? Pineapple? Lemon? Probably not lemon. <laughs> And now to add some highlights. Ooh, yep, I, I messed up that brown real bad. So just let me go ahead and fix that. Okay, take two, much better. Now let's add some toppings. We've got some pink heart sprinkles for the pineapple donut, white drizzle for the strawberry and sprinkles for the chocolate. And then I lost my paintbrush. So a quick trip to the store and we're back in business. I felt like there was just too much white space on the mask. I know people say less is more, but no. If there's space for more paint, I'm gonna paint it. Oh, oh, and we're not done yet. I'm painting the band yellow to really frame our donuts. Okay, that side's done. Now time for the next. I'm painting another three donuts, but this time they're pink, brown, and blue. What flavor is blue? Blueberry? Bubblegum? What even is bubblegum flavor? Because real bubblegum always comes with different flavors. Then it's time for some toppings. Oh, never mind. Apparently it's sprinkle time. I like to keep you on your toes. Okay, we're back to toppings. We've got a white drizzle on the chocolate, regular old sprinkles on the bubblegum donut, and yellow and white round sprinkles on the strawberry donut. We're getting fancy over here. Then we just want to fill in all that white space with more sprinkles and paint the band yellow. And I ran out of paint. <gasps> My worst fears came true. I always mix way too much paint because I'm terrified I'm going to run out of that color. And guys, it's really hard to remix paint colors, especially when the paint doesn't dry the same color as when it's wet. And as predicted, the new color I mixed wasn't the same. So I did end up going back over the finished side with the new shade. And here is mask number two. I love it. Let me know what you think. Is this a good idea? Guess we'll find out. Yep, we're painting the mask a dark burgundy color for the base. And this time I'm using the color straight from the bottle so there's no chance of me running out of paint. Which is handy because I appear to be painting myself as well as the mask. Okay, our base color is down, now it's time to start designing. So about three months ago when I actually started this video, 
everywhere had like these 80s floral print pants, notebooks, water bottles, and I was obsessed. So I decided to paint my own on this mask. Now I did immediately forget what flowers look like besides daisies, so there's a lot of daisies. And it's art. And then I kind of just winged it on the rest of these flowers. So don't come for me if these aren't real flowers. Now you know how I feel about empty space. So I decided to fill up any substantial gaps with some vines and ah! spilled my dirty paint water everywhere. But it's okay. This is why I have the paper down in the first place. So just let me go ahead and change that. Much better. Hey, I wonder if I can turn this into a green screen. Okay, that's enough cat. Now to finish this design pattern thing, I have really been liking this technique of creating a messy outline. Is there a name for it? Probably. I'm basically scribbling over all my nice clean lines with that original base color to create this messy doodle effect. Let me know what you think. Did I ruin it? So beautiful. Okay, done. Now I'm just using the same elements on the other side, adding in the scribbles and our third mask is finished. Okay, cat, stop playing with the green screen. On to the next mask. <coughs> so I really, really wanted to do a cat mask along with donuts. I am obsessed with cats, but honestly, I struggled to come up with a cat design I really liked. Then as I was scrolling through the depths of Instagram, I came across some cat doodles and fell in love. Now I am not taking credit for the shape of these cats. I was able to trace the doodles back to a stock photo site. So hopefully this here is the original artist. Now whilst I didn't come up with the shape of these cats myself, I am drawing them, layering them and turning them into my own cats. And then we can start painting. The paint has gone a little chunky. Let me just clean that up and off we go. Like I mentioned, I am turning these into my cats, Dexter, Rascal and Spooky. Oh, and just a quick note, Shadow passed away since my last video. The vet said it was probably a tick bite. Honestly, I don't really want to talk about it too much because this isn't a sad video. But the Dexters are getting a beige base, Rascal's getting a light grey base, and Spooky is getting a dark grey. I also filled in the sides dark grey because you know how I feel about white space. Moving on to their details, because these are just cartoony doodles, I'm keeping everything very simple and just adding some of Dexter and Rascal's stripes and underbellies. For some reason, I thought it was Spooky and Dexter with the pink noses, but it's actually Rascal and Dexter. Spooky has a black nose. I don't even know my own cats. So I am going to fix that on the painting, not my actual cats. Then I'm just painting their cute little faces and adding their whiskers. Okay, time for a fresh background. Honestly, I could have stopped here. Maybe I should have stopped here, but I decided to give each kitty a black outline to create some separation so they don't morph into one big cat blob. <laughs> and to finish it off, I'm adding some eye shines and here I am thinking it's all finished, but oh my God, I missed a line. Okay, now we're done. This is probably my favorite mask. However, because I didn't come up with the original cat sketch, I'm not counting it. Okay, we are onto the final mask and I sketched this one's design out beforehand. As you can see, I'm going for a fruit salad theme and hey, the green screen is back. Okay, that's the last time I promise. So this mask is the culprit who filled up my paint palette so quickly. I just kept adding color after color after color and ah, I missed the palette. Let's just wipe that up and say goodbye to the green screen. Now it kind of looks like a bullet wound. <laughs> okay, back to the painting. We have got a lot of fruit here. We've got a strawberry, pear, watermelon, cherries, lemon, and a kiwi fruit, which all require more paint and more paint and more paint and more paint, and you guessed it, more paint. And this is only one side of the mask. Oh, we switched sides with the paint palette. And now it's gone. And now you know how I feel about empty space. But this time I'm filling it with polka dots, not sprinkles. Yes, I'm aware all that's different is their circles instead of rectangles, but it's fine. On to the next side. Apparently I ran out of fruit ideas and I'm just going with another strawberry. But hey, at least this one sliced. 
Oh, and another lemon. This time not sliced. Wow, I really ran out of ideas, huh? I could have done a peach, an apple, blueberries, a mango, pineapple, a coconut. Wait, is a coconut a fruit or a nut? Huh, apparently both. Okay, now to add a few more polka dots and we are done. Let me know which mask was your favorite and feel free to check out another video. Bye guys.